What's going on guys? Welcome to another Pi Game tutorial video. In this video we're going to just continue on what we were doing and we're building uh, our CX Free script so we can convert our Pi Game into an executable. So we've completed all of our options and now we're ready to just do the last few things that we need to do. I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring my text a little larger again. Um, and now after options we just have we can put in a couple more things here. There is, you can also put in version and stuff like that, but we're just going to make this pretty simple. So well, we can add a description if we want, and for that I'll just say uh, Slither Game Tutorial, um, and then we're going to say executables equals executables, and that's it for our CX Free setup. Um, also, we need to add a comma here. I forgot my comma add that and that should be everything so now we've got our CX free setup completed and now we're actually ready to run the procedure so let's go ahead and save the setup.py and now what you want to do is you want to navigate your command line your terminal whatever to the directory of our script so here is where we are this is the setup.py file that we just created here's our images and then here's the actual pie game that we want to convert so again we can just double click on that and we can play it but it requires us to have python and pie game installed so we'll go ahead and quit that now and so what we're going to want to do is bring our command line here now if you're in windows the easiest thing you can do is come over to the directory so in this directory is where this stuff is so you can go to that directory hold your shift key right click and then say open command window here and that's going to open up your command window right where you want it to be now this first line is really long because this is like hidden away um, and in fact uh, just so it's like more clear I'm gonna go ahead and take this I'm gonna move this to my desktop um, whoops Uh, well, let's copy it to my desktop. That way that open file isn't going to give us hell. So we'll close out of this and I'll uh, open up this. So this is where we are. So again, I'm going to do the same thing I just did, only this time it's on my desktop. So I'm holding shift and I'm going to open the command window there. That way I have a little bit more space so you guys can see what I'm typing. So now on Windows, what you're going to want to type is either python setup.py build. So we can do that. I'll hit enter now. And that's going to go ahead and start the build process. So we're running build and all that. It might take a second, especially if you're on like 32-bit. It might be really slow. Um, but that's it. We've got the build done. Just as a quick aside, if you if that didn't work, if it said like Python's not like a command, then you want to give the full path to Python. So I'm using Python 3.4. So where's that located? Well, if we go over here, hit C. I see it's C Python 34 and then what actually is Python it's right here it's Python right so um, and we run that and that's actually like a Python application right so if it says it's not a register that means Python's not on your path I'm move this out of the way. It says Python's not in your path so then you would do C colon slash uh, Python 34 Python setup dot pi build okay so just in case Python is not in your path but it wasn't my path, so that's all hunky dory. So now, when we go back to our directory, we see that we now have this new folder called build. We'll click on build. We'll click on this folder again. If you're on 32-bit, it might look a little different, but anyway. And then, we see we've got a bunch of crap in here, but if we scroll down, uh, here's our Pi game tutorial. So now, we can click on this. It brings up, this time, it brings up a console window, but this is not a Python console. It's a game tutorial.exe is what we just clicked on. And here is our game. We can press C and we can play it and we can have a good old grand jolly old time. So now what you could do is you could zip up uh, this this game and you could share it with your friends. You don't even have to zip it up. You could just send them all of these files. It's not really that big. Um, for example, this file is, give me the numbers. Come on. It just doesn't want to give me the number for some reason. There we go. Wow, this one's actually huge. <laughs> this is a massive game. Um, probably because of all the packages it ha it's holding in here. Like, let's see how big TCL is and TK. Um, what a huge thing. Okay, well, for some reason, we're packing in SciPy here. 
and NumPy. I don't think we use SciPy or NumPy. Looks like those are the largest things being uh, sucked up in this game. But anyway, uh, the other thing that we can do as well is we can come over to our Slither game. And remember how we did build here? The other thing that we can run is we can build a Microsoft installer. So I'm going to see if I can get away with deleting our current build. I can. Cool. Now, um, instead of Python setup.py or setups.py build, what we can do instead is b dist underscore msi. And now we'll run that, and it's going to run a fairly similar uh, sequence that we did before. This one might take a little bit longer than the original, though. Wait for it. Um, I guess while we're waiting, you can just keep in mind that what I've created here, I'm on a 64-bit machine. That means that this is a 64-bit installer that's being made. And so that's great, but what about the 32-bit folk? Well, to do that, as far as I know, the only way you can do that is you have to be on a 32-bit machine and build your distribution. So just keep that in mind. So now we have our build, and then we have our BDIS and all that. I don't, yeah, that's, that's good that it's empty. But then in here, we've got our, our typical executable. Um, but we have this new file, and it's dist. And we click on that, and we see that we've got slither. And that's our game, and this is actually 55 megabytes. Not huge, but for the simplicity of our game, that's kind of comical. <laughs> anyway. Um, we can double click on that and that's going to open up like an, an installer so this wants to install slither to C program file slither and then you know the user could hit ok next and all this fun stuff and now it's going to actually install slither on my machine under the program files run through it so we did that uh, finish and then we can come over uh, C uh, program files slither and here's our slither game so as you could probably recognize it that way you're not sending something like a big old zip and all that but anyway they could click on it and they can play their little slither game so that is how you can distribute your pie games all of your friends show them how awesome you are because you make games so anyway uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed hopefully uh, everyone's got it working if um, you might find that some things don't work. Chances are fonts can give a little bit of trouble using sysfont. Sometimes it's better to use an actual font, give the full path to the font. Like in Windows, for example, I want to say it's in like C, maybe Windows, and then fonts. Let me organize here. I think that's how, yeah. So C, Windows, fonts. And then here's where you have like all of your fonts. So you can give the full path to your fonts. And that might be a little bit better of a way to share because this will build these fonts. So if someone doesn't have these fonts, it might cause trouble. But for the most part, CS Freeze is relatively well updated. But yeah, sometimes you're going to come up with some weird errors. But anyway, that's it. Now you can share your game uh, with all your friends. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.